Namaste guys, Rajesh Shefa Namaste Tech and in this video, I'm going to show you a Note 7 room running on my Galaxy S7 Edge. More specifically, I'm running on the Edge Lite custom room on my S7 Edge here, but you'll find plenty of stable Note 7 room ports for the Galaxy S7 and S7 Edge from other developers as well. Touchways on the Galaxy Note 7 looks different from what you'll find on the S7 or S7 Edge. It looks prettier and more mature. Flashing a Note 7 room on your Galaxy S7 or S7 Edge will provide you with access to all the new software features that Samsung has debuted with its flagship Note this year. This includes Samsung Notes, redesigned system apps and more. However, an exploding battery is not one of them. So let's have a close look at the UI now. The home screen and app drawer look cleaner with the search bar being neatly integrated into it. The notification panel has seen a huge overall with additional quick settings now being accessible by pulling down the drag handle located below the row of tiles. The settings menu has been completely revamped with all device related features now being tugged into various groups. So for example, the connections menu now contains all the various settings related to various connectivity options like Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, NFC, location and more. Similarly, going into sounds and vibration will provide you with all the sounds and vibration related settings including system sounds like those from the keyboard. Heading into display, you'll find some very useful options in here. This includes being able to change the screen resolution from Quad HD to, to Full HD or even 720p to preserve battery life. Other display settings like always on display, night clock, screen saver are also present here. A new feature that you will get as a part of the Note 7 room on your Galaxy S7 or S7 Edge is the blue light filter. Similar to the night shift feature in iOS 9, blue light filter will allow you to sleep better by changing the temperature of the display to yellow once the sun sets to reduce the strain on your eyes. You can customize it to toggle itself on and off automatically during certain hours of the day or depending on your location from sunset to sunrise. There's also a new entry in the settings menu called device maintenance. This is similar to what the Galaxy S7 and S7 Edge had but the whole menu has been completely redesigned. You can also quickly access settings related to the battery, storage, RAM and device security from under device maintenance. Going into battery menu, you will get an estimated battery life along with the remaining battery percentage. Then you also get access to two different power saving modes, mid and max that you can customize according to your liking before applying them. This includes being able to limit the screen brightness, resolution, performance and more. The Note 7 room also comes with Samsung Cloud built-in that allows you to backup your contacts, calendar, Samsung Notes, internet, keyboard data, photos and videos to Samsung's cloud storage service. Using Samsung Cloud is particularly beneficial if you own multiple Samsung devices. The Note 7 room also comes with a brand new camera application which offers nothing new in terms of functionality but the UI is simpler to use than what the Galaxy S7 comes with by default. Swiping to the right provides you with access to various camera modes while swiping to the left provides you with access to various filters. Another useful feature that I found in the Note 7 row is that while scrolling long lists, a small icon to jump to the top of a list will automatically show up. The bummer here is that this icon only shows up while using stock Samsung applications and not in third party apps. So that's it for this video guys, thanks for watching it, do hit the like button below and subscribe to our channel if you have not already done so.